Hi all, welcome to Discovering the Marvels of German. Today we are going to learn the usage of third person singular man, which means a person. So let's see how to work on man. Good luck with your work on German, on the German writing. So let's start. So first of all, let's learn how to use a person in German, which is man. Man kann. Man means a person. So a person can ride a bicycle. How to say that in German? Man kann Fahrrad fahren. A person should not eat a lot. Man soll nicht viel essen. A person should protect the environment. Man soll the Umwelt schutz. Now let's see how to make these sentences bigger. Is it a bigger deal or a smaller deal? So let's dig on. So let's see how to extend them with words. Beware of the rules. With modal verbs, there is always a second verb towards the end. So the second, the always in all the sentences, the verb comes in the second position in the conjugated form. And the second verb with the modal verb comes in the infinitive form towards the end. So the first example is man can mit einem Freund Fahrrad fahren, which means a person can um, ride a bicycle with a friend. So the next sentence man can alleine oder mit der Familie Fahrrad fahren, which means a person can ride a bicycle alone or with a family. So man can alleine oder mit der Familie Stunden lang Fahrrad fahren. That means a person can ride a bicycle alone or with a family for hours together. So, the next sentence, man kann viele Erfahrungen alleine oder mit der Familie durch das Fahrrad fahren sammeln, which means a person can collect lot of experiences with a person, with a, with a family or alone through the bicycling. So, uh, man kann nicht viele Erfahrungen, nicht nur viele Erfahrungen sammeln, sondern auch viel Spaß alleine oder mit der Familie durch das Fahrrad fahren haben, which means man can not only have or collect so much of experiences but also have much uh, enjoyment alone or with the family when they do the cycling so this is a really good example of knowing how to extend the sentences hope you understood this you see it's not difficult it's not difficult to make bigger sentences let's try other examples man soll the umwelt schützen that means a person should protect the environment man soll the umwelt durch viele maßnahmen schützen a person should protect the environment through different measures. Man soll die Umwelt durch viele Maßnahmen schützen, wie Strom sparen, Müll vermeiden und so weiter. So, how are the measures? The measures used to protect the environment could be uh, sparing electricity, avoiding waste, etc. So, the last sentence, man, man soll die Umwelt durch viele Maßnahmen schützen, wie Strom sparen, Müll vermeiden, indem man selbst aufpasst, dass man keine Energie verschwendet. So, towards the last sentence, the person can protect the environment through sparing of electricity and um, avoiding waste and through the process of, in the means through the process of, how? Through the process of um, beware, being beware of self, self, his self, thus that he does not waste energy. So, in the man self of past, the person is beware of himself or he considers himself um, or he, he cares himself, takes care of himself that he does not waste energy. Thus man kind of energy verschwendet. Now let's learn how to write uh, simple English sentences and convert that to German. So a person can easily pass German exam, which can be translated to Man kann eine deutsche Prüfung einfach bestehen. So a person needs to practice grammar well through exercises, which is translated to German. Man soll die Grammatik durch Übungen üben. Übungen is a noun, that's why it's written in bigger letters, and Üben is practice. So uh, the next sentence, a person needs a language to communicate. Man braucht eine Sprache zur Kommunikation. 
so now let's say uh, let's try to write bigger sentences with man man sollte auf fleisch verzichten um die umwelt zu schützen so sentences with um zu und um die massentierhaltung zu vermeiden so a person should avoid um, avoid the flesh content or eating meat uh, to protect the environment and to reduce the um, the massive um, massive uh, massacre of animals so then the next one is man sollte medial digital medium im unterricht benutzen damit die studenten besser verstehen können so a person should use digital media in the classes to make the students understand it better next one is uh, man sollte keine medikamente bei schlafstörungen nutzen da sie viele nebenwirkungen haben werden so it is a sentence with da da means because so when da comes verbum end so man sollte keine medikamente so a person should not use medica, uh, medicines for um, sleeping problems because it can have lots of side effects man muss hohe meter in gross state in bezahlen da die nachfrage sehr hoch ist so a person should um, pay a large amount of rent in big cities because there is a high demand nachfrage means high demand so hope you have understood this section so all the verbs here are uh, written in red um if you have any questions write uh, below in the comment section so thank you very much uh, for listening to my uh, video hope you have understood it try to convert these sentences into german the english sentences that i have given below a person cannot colonize the moon a person cannot undergo beauty operation person um, should not undergo beauty operation person need not pay tolls or road taxes a person should not pay attention to the marks in schools a person should avoid alcohol consumption these are all uh, sentences that could be used in the exam preparation of writing hope you guys can convert the sentences in the next section i would be adding the answers um to these slides so that to the last slides the answers i would give in the next slide thank you very much see you bye bye